Namaste. It has been a great honor and privilege to be associated with Talentnomics. Grit, grace and leadership. Having worked at SEVA for over three and a half decades, some of the lessons in leadership that we have learned are a true leader is the one who allows others to lead. The second lesson we have learned is a leader never gives up from failures or mistakes. You make a mistake, you analyze it, learn from your mistakes and restart again. We at SEVA call it as our constructive struggle. Let me share example of some of our leaders. Kapila Ben Bhailal Bhai is an elected president of SEVA. She's a small farmer and a tobacco worker. During the recent pandemic and lockdown, when the government announced the relief packages, from the very next day, she started going to the village panchayat office, to the local PDS shop, and ensured that every household was given the fair amount and good quality of entitlements. The day she discovered that some of the households were being cheated, she took up the issue with the village headman, with the block office, and she even gave it in the newspaper and filed a police complaint. The very next week, the license of the PDS shop owner was cancelled. Um, this is what a true leader is. She did not wait for anybody's instructions, a sense of ownership and belongingness. These are all my members. I cannot allow them to be betrayed or cheated, says Kapila Ben. Let me share the example of Jammu Ben Ahir, an artisan from the remote desert villages of Gujarat. They were invited to Santa Fe, New Mexico to display their craft work. Jammu Ben is neither educated nor speaks any English. Just three days before the team was to leave, one of the artisans lost her daughter. We requested Jammu Ben if she could take the position of this artisan. Without even thinking for a minute, Jammu Ben agreed. She said, it was the future of 15,000 of my sisters. If I did not go, what would be the future of those 15,000 artisans like me? I had Seva with me and I had God would take care of me. And Jammu Ben went all by herself, who had never even traveled to Delhi in an airplane went all the way to New Mexico, changing four flights. Let me also share example of Shantaben, a waste collector from the city of Ahmedabad. Shantaben was sharing with me just last week that when the lockdown was announced, everybody stayed inside the house. I had to leave my house. How would I feed my family? What would happen to our waste collector sisters? How would we survive? I went to the civil hospital in Ahmedabad, which was treating the COVID patients. They needed women who could take care of plumbing, of cleaning the drainage lines. I had never learned plumbing. I did not know anything, but it was, you know, learning by doing. You had to survive. You had to feed your family. I looked at my other waste collector sisters and my own children. Today, 22 women and Shanta Ben are all working day and night at the civil hospital, maintaining the um, sanitation, the bathrooms and the toilets, ensuring that the COVID patients do not suffer. This is what we at SEVA call as leadership. The qualities of the leadership that our members have given to us are that a true leader has to be fearless, selfless, committed, has to have empathy, it needs to be able to understand the issues and the needs of the members. 
and has to be willing to take on any risks at any time. What is unique about Talentnomics is that it gives a platform both for the professional and the young leaders in the corporate sector and the informal sector. It allows sharing of knowledge uh, between the formal sector and the informal sector. I wish Talentnomics all success. Thank you.